Hey, I'm Xavier Alaoui, and I'm built different. So my journey started when I was judo, actually, at five years old. And as I got better and went to a national level, I saw MMA on TV. And then in MMA, you see guys using judo, jiu-jitsu, boxing, whatever it is. So it's a more complete version of fighting than judo is. So I was so passionate about martial arts that I wanted to be good, I wanted to be the best. I wanted to better myself at everything and try it in an octagon, right? Try fighting somebody. I think fighting is the purest form of adversity you can face. You can get hit super hard and fall, but then you can always come right back up and win. The more you overcome, the more you progress in life. The, the further you go, the higher you elevate. And you get better at dealing with different situations. I had to overcome losing the first round, which often puts fighters down because you lose the first round. I had to overcome broken jaws, two of my fights. It taught me a lot. It taught me about myself, to what I can do, what I can achieve, how hard I can push it, my pain threshold, and also my, mind, my mental fortitude, right? The grind. Your mentality is probably the best indicator of where you're gonna reach in life. Depending on how strong you are mentally, you know the extent of the things you can achieve in your lifetime. Be passionate about something, find something you love, whether it's fighting, cooking, whatever it is, and just wake up and wanting to be the best at it. Don't compare yourself to others, but instead try comparing yourself to yourself. That's a legacy I'm definitely trying to pass on to my kids, not only my kids, man, to the whole world. Because if everybody's like that, there's a higher chance that my kids are like that, right? So you gotta pass that on to everybody. As a fighter, I want to leave behind sick highlight reels, knockout, submission, obviously, but I also want to leave an, uh, an imprint on the, the, my guys right here, my youngins, the guys that I'm training right now that are 10 years younger than me. You can, you can pass on your skill set and pass on your school of teaching through your students, and that's the way that a good school of fighting develops, you know?